If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. QuickBooks contains a menu bar at the top of the application window that lets you access all its commands and features. To perform a command, click a menu bar command category, like File, Edit, or Lists, to display a drop-down menu of subcommands for the command category. Then click the desired subcommand to execute in the drop-down menu. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to perform commands in QuickBooks. Keyboard shortcuts, if available, appear to the right of the specific command to which they correspond in the menu bar. For example, if you click the Lists command in the menu bar, you can see the keyboard shortcut for the Chart of Accounts command, which is Ctrl plus A on the keyboard. You can then click away from the menu bar drop-down menu to retract it. Next, hold down the Control key on your keyboard, and then strike the A key on your keyboard to open the Chart of Accounts. If your goal is to become faster using QuickBooks, learning your keyboard shortcuts will assist you. A very useful but unlisted shortcut is pressing the Escape key on your keyboard to close the active window. Also notice that not every command in the menu bar has a corresponding keyboard shortcut. For example, if you click the Lists command in the menu bar to show the drop-down menu, you can see that a command like Item List does not have a keyboard shortcut. However, there is a keystroke combination you can perform to access every command. If you press the Alt key on your keyboard and then look at the menu bar, you will see that each command category, like File or Edit, has a single underlined letter. For example, the F in the File command and the E in the Edit command are underlined. If you hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and strike the underlined letter for the corresponding command category, its drop-down menu appears. At that point, if you look at the subcommands in the drop-down menu, you'll notice that each one of the subcommands also has a single letter underlined. At that point, you no longer have to hold down the Alt key. You can just strike the key on the keyboard that corresponds to the underlined letter of the subcommand you want to execute. So, using the example of accessing the item list command, you could simply hold down Alt plus the L key on your keyboard, and then strike the letter I on your keyboard to access the item list. You'll find that every command has a keyboard shortcut if you follow this method. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.